Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys how you can start uh, to install your your own Steam OS installation to your computer. First thing you want to make sure you have is you have a motherboard that has um, a UEFI BIOS. Okay, once you you you've made sure that you have that, you're good to go. Um, Next thing, go to this website, Steam, whatever, to build your own machine, and then because this is, this is where you get the instructions, and I will explain one of the one of the instructions. I'll explain this one. This one is a lot easier. Well, they say this one is easier because it's all automated and all that. But to me, I've tried the default one four or five times, and it doesn't work. It gives you a black screen, and I, I couldn't go anywhere. Second one, I've tried a few times, but I eventually figured out everything, and it works. And you don't overthink it. Trust me, the custom installation is going to be a lot easier for you. Just do the second one. And and the download is a lot smaller. So once you, you click this and you download, you will get this. You will get a zipped file of this. So all you have to do is now you have to unzip it into something like, you know, another folder. And now, because we don't want to, we don't have like a giant DVD to burn it onto, we use something called Unit Boot In. Okay? So you, you, you download unit boot in, you can download it from just Google it, just download it, all right? Um, and then click disk image, you're gonna leave what you know, ISO and all that. Obvi okay, so um, you know, mine would be okay. Let me show you this. Okay. So for example, mine is I, and you can already see I've already done this. I call okay. It has the same stuff as that, so you it doesn't the name doesn't matter what it was. I just use that one because on the first one it's just it's irrelevant. It's it's completely it doesn't matter. Who cares? But copy everything over. Well, you can't copy everything over, or this thing will do it for you. So whatever you want. If you don't want to do it yourself, um, if you don't want to extract it, so then you come here and this is I, I don't think it's loaded here, but. Again. So it's I. So if you didn't have it, then then you just do it. Okay. So this is you. This is not one of them. Um, yeah. You know, what is it called? Uh, there it is. So Steam OS installer. You select that and you click OK and it does the same thing for you. So if you use Unit Boot In, it will do this for you. If you don't want to use Unit Boot In, you don't want to download the actual program. All you have to do is you extract the folder. And you copy and paste the contents over to your to your flash drive. And your flash drive, I don't know, has to, they say yes to be like four gigs or something. Mine is well over mine is like thirty. Doesn't really matter. So just drag it in. And um, when you when you, after you're done, you know, just eject it, take it out, plug it into your other computer, restart it, and then um, hit whatever key. Um, now now this goes into the instructions right here. Um, you know, hit, put it into the computer. And hit whatever. Um. Oh yeah. Wait. Step number two. I forgot to tell you this. When you do unzip it and put it into a blank one, it has to be formatted to FAT32. If you don't know how to do that, it's like this. Let me take this thing out. I'll teach you how to do it to FAT32. So if you want, if you, if say yours wasn't, you just go to you right click your drive, format, and Right here is where it says, you know, NTFS X Fat or Fat32. So you choose Fat32, and I always use Quick Format because it's just a lot faster and it saves me a lot of time. Just click Start, and whenever it's done, you're you're gonna have a reformatted drive, which is blank, and then you can start the copying process. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, back to the point where you plug it into your computer. Um, once you plug it into your computer. Hit like your 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 boot menu. You want to pull up your boot menu so you can choose specifically. And for my example, it came out exactly like this. You, you know, you, all you have to make sure is it has UEFI on it. You don't want to go the other one because if you if you do the other one, it's the same thing right here. If you do the other one, um, it's when it installs it, you know, something's gonna go wrong because it has to be UEFI. Select the automated install. Do do the rest. Um. I'll go into more detail, but so basically, uh, after you install that thing, it's gonna you just, all you do is you click next into the on you know the automated menu. You don't have to do anything. 
it's going to be done and then when it restarts um, when you log in you have to make sure because there's different um, sessions you can you can log into make sure you choose the genome session it's at the bottom of the okay so the screen is going to have like a login prompt and you're going to have a little text field where you enter in the login and password right and then below that it's going to have a session chooser so you, I think the regular one is something else but you want to choose genome it doesn't, it's not going to have a session next to it, it's just going to have a genome just choose genome and then log in with um, as Steam as your username password as your I mean um, Steam as, and, and Steam as your password and this part really confused me where it says run Steam except the EULA and let it bootstrap well what that means is you have to you can't just because I tried going you know to the applications uh, you know uh, menu and you know where it shows up all the programs and clicking on Steam, it doesn't work. I tried it like four or five times, it doesn't work. Um, what you have to do is you have to launch terminal and just type in Steam. Once you do that, once you type in Steam, it it, it installs it for you, and and you know it's going to show up with a login window with your Steam account, in it, and then you know the Steam is installed. And then once you know you got through that, you just log off the Steam account, and then now you log on with the same genome session using the username desktop and the password desktop. Now you open the terminal again, and and you run this command exactly as it is. You don't type in anything else except for that the little what do you call that tilde slash post logon sh. You type that in. It's gonna ask you for a password. The password's obvious. It's desktop because it's the user whatever password. After um, you type that in, it's gonna it's gonna restart itself. It's gonna um, boot into the recovery partition capture utility. You don't have to do anything. It does all this work for you, automated. Um, and then at the very last step, it's going to ask you to confirm yes or no. So you type in Y, and then recovery partition you know, gets created by itself. You, you don't have to do anything. After you press Y and you enter, nothing else. You don't have to do anything. And when it finishes, all you have to do now is to reboot. Once you reboot, you will, you will end up with the finished result as I have shown in my... Um, other video and I will link to it and you will see it the finished result and it comes from doing the custom installation not the default so if you want to know the way I did it I did it using the custom installation and yeah um, and the most important step is this step because it doesn't really tell you how to run it so and the way I figured it out is you just have to open up the terminal open up the terminal and type in steam okay not using the steam account okay remember after you log into the steam I mean I mean no 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 my mistake yeah the first account you log into the first step is steam and that's where you actually launch steam from the terminal after you do that you launch steam it's gonna install and I logged in and then I'll, and then and then as soon as you can log in you log back out and then you go into the other account called um, desktop once you go into desktop it, it does the um, basically the the finishing up part of the installation where it, make, it finalizes everything and it does everything for you. And then that is the point where your installation is complete and once you restart, it everything is going to work the way I have shown in the video.